mambo wapendwa leo nafanya video kuwaleza kila kitu kuhusu modeling especially um mtapataje agency za nje mta contact agency za marekani mimi nilianzaje modeling na pia nitaonyesha mama ambaye alinianzisha mimi career yangu ya modeling and how yeye yeah, ataweza kuwasaidia yenyewe wote ambao kila siku mnauza maswali ya modeling ambao mnataka kuanza modeling So mother agent wangu Angie and I um tuko Prada tuna shop and ndio kuambia kidogo kuhusu yeye. So nilipokuwa Sorry, first of all, sorry no ne kana niko kama kicha. This whole week nilikuwa na umo. Nimetoka Milan, nimekuja Paris, nafanya shows. I've just been feeling sick and tired. Mwili unajua unaanza ku ku give up kama umetumia muda mwingi unafanya kazi hujapumzika hujalala hujala sana. So nilipokuwa miaka 12 kuna Twelve or thirteen. Angie, I'm talking about how I started modeling. This is Angie. Wait, I have to turn the camera to you so you can see. This is Angie, the woman, the legend herself. Angie Who started it all. Started it all. So, the story is. I was 12 or 13 and I have to speak Swahili. So I was 12 or 13 and nilitaka kuwa actress and I wanted to be on Disney. Ndio kwa actress mwingizaji wa channel ya watoto anaitwa Disney. And I asked my mom if naweza akaweza anaweza kanipeleka kwenye acting agency. Lakini my mama kujua tofauti ya acting na modeling. So yeah, akani tuka Google and then akani peleka kwenye agency ya modeling na acting. Nilipoingia tulikwanza tuli tutakao tuwe pale saa 7 mchana. Nilipoingia nikafika pale saa 4. Yaani ndio nilikuwa nataka hiyo opportunity sana. Nimefika saa 4 asubuhi natakiwa nifike saa saa 7 mchana. Kuingia wakaniambia nimewahi sana niondoke niudi saa 7. Nikaondoka saa 6 dakika 59 nikarudi kufika pale yule mama akaniambia niingie akaniuliza jina langu akaniuliza huyu mama ambaye ni Anji aniuliza natoka wapi nimekuja pale kufanya nini nikamwambia jina langu nimekuja kutoka Tanzania sikuja kutoka Tanzania lakini nimetoka mimi nimezaliwa Tanzania and nilitaka kufanya acting alivoniona niko mia mbili mrefu hivi kama ngogoti akasema kwa nini sijaribu modeling alafu nilikuwa bado na accent yangu ya Kiswahili ya Tanzania English nilikuwa siongei vizuri so naambia kwani sijaribu modeling. Mimi ni mtoto ambaye mtoto. Nilikuwa mtoto ambaye na napenda kusikiliza. Mtu akiniambia kitu na nachukua hiyo advice nafikiria and then nasema okay baadaye nitafanya ama baadaye nitaifanyia kazi. Azuri ila mimi sioni tofauti yake. Mimi naona pana fanana tu na Moshi jamani. Ni ndo sehemu ya show. Na wale watu wana paint pale. Watu wanakuja kukaa kwenye hizi seat afu sisi tunatembea hapo katikati mpaka mwisho. Once it starts for 15 minutes you're really beautiful. Beautiful. You're beautiful. In Chinese, in Japanese, in Russian, in English, in French, in Afrikaners, in every language, you're beautiful. And that's why this whole thing exists. Because that's what fashion is trying to say. It's about beauty, but not just external beauty. So use it, please, please use it. Look guys, after this, that's it. No one else is gonna ask you to do what I'm asking you to do. I don't think any other fashion brand is gonna ask you to do this. I'm asking you, open your heart. Open your heart. Touch your heart. Put your hand on your heart. 
my banana. It's a very powerful energy. When you put your hand there, you feel, you feel how it changes. You have it. Things change when you put your hand. Yes, me. Put one hand right here. It's a big one, okay? Do you understand? Yes. It's internal that it makes real positivity and joy. And that doesn't have to be. It's sometimes just like this. It's just, okay? Everywhere in the world, you ask people to do this, they'll feel the same response. They'll connect. It's like a, a plug, electricity. You plug yourself in, right? Okay? And don't let this get in the way. Don't make this stop you. This is what leads you, okay? Clear? Clear. Have fun. Enjoy yourself. Sorry, I need Maria, Aisa, two, Katia, A, Ariette, and Zveta, the five together. Yeah. Five we are walking together. Can you come with me, please? Yes. I repeat Maria, Aisa, two, Katia, Ariette, and Zveta. Let's enjoy. Come with me. So I'm here with Angie and I tell Elizaki Dogo Kusu story young Nilipoanza modeling and basically how anaweza kuwasaidia ni ambao mnataka kuwa wana mitindo mnataka kuingia kwenye acting because huyu ndo mama ambaye alianzisha mimi career yangu ya modeling and nilikuwa mdogo sana nilikuwa mnyonge lakini yeye akanipa confidence akani connect na agencies za nje mpaka leo nimekuja Paris Fashion Week ana travel na mimi She's here, the legend, the one and only. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> so, Angie, what advice do you give models in Tanzania who would like to get started in the industry but don't know where to start, or have like family issues where they think modeling is not a good job or it's not a respectful job? Right. Well, the first thing is, if a model is in Tanzania, they should work on their themselves, their body, um, spirituality, like you need to be ready for this because there's a lot of rejection. A lot of rejection. So you need to be healthy, that's the number one thing. And I know a lot of parents, just like my parents, uh, wanted me to go to university and really, so I took classes. You know, I would take an online class, but this is really where the universe wanted me to be, to help people. So, uh, for models, I don't think the answer is going to school, university. You, if this is something you want to do, you've got to work towards it and build up thick skin, which means the, accept the rejection, work on your body. Um, can you explain and what you mean by work on your body? Work on your body, like go to the gym, walk. Right, you know, running I think builds too much muscle, so I think yoga is a nice thing to do to keep you in shape, but you need to be in shape. You don't have to be a size zero, but you need to be in, in shape, shape and fit. Um, so it's important to have your parents' support because uh, without the parents' uh, support... No. Uh, okay. we wait, wait, wait. <laughs> okay, we have been interrupted. One second. Yes? Sorry, but uh, you have to go downstairs to see Francois. He wants to explain something to you. Francois. Like two minutes. Francois is... Uh, right there. Yeah. With the blue. Oh, yeah. with the white. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This. Okay. One of Andy's models was just spotted at the she club. She was spotted at the club. So as an agent, she's texting them, what? <laughs> if you're going to the club, don't tell your agent. Or post it on Instagram. <laughs> oh, Fashion Week. Okay, Vanessa. So, Angie. Yes. Back to our scheduled program. Right, so, uh, and then if they want to seek uh, modeling, there might be opportunities in Tanzania. I'm not aware of that. If they are, you know, they should gain a lot of experience there, build up their books if they can. There's some work, I'm sure, over there. And then contact me and see if they are right for our market or for placement international because I do placement international you don't have to basically live in Canada uh, we could place you anywhere in the world uh, as long as uh, you're a good person 
you work hard. And you work hard, you're not late. Right, not late. And we good attitude. time and great attitude and have an attitude of gratitude. Because yeah. when you live every day to the fullest with a grateful heart, so much success could come to you. Yeah, that's true. So how can they go on the website and then apply to the... They could go on amtimanagement.com or on my Instagram. Angie's Models, AMTI, Toronto or Ottawa and send us a message or on our Facebook page which quite a few Tanzanian girls have been doing already. That's right. But it's better to do it on the website because it's, it's better more to do professional. It on the it's more professional and I respond to it much quicker because I don't realize people are sending me messages on Instagram, Instagram or Facebook. Instagram. Facebook, which is not professional, but I understand this is the new thing, but the website does have a submission, and we ask that you do a few digitals, like a face shot and a full body shot, and give us your exact measurements. Nice. And when you measure your hips, you should measure them from the biggest part of the buttocks, right around. Yeah. Not the top hip, but it's the lower The lower part, part of the hip. Be honest with your measurements. Be honest with your measurements. Your height and all the measurements. You have to be exact. What is the typical height for a model, girls and guys? Well, just so they don't waste their time. Right. Uh, a girl should be five nine for high fashion. Five, five nine. nine to six feet. Yeah. There's six foot one girls as well, um, and guys should be at least six two, six three. That's the height for guys. You heard it here first, from the queen herself. We started Harriet Paul and she walked in at 12, 13 years old, 5'11", and wanted to be an actress. And I said as a 12, 13 year old, you cannot be an actress at this height. You need to pursue modeling. And then, of course, you could do acting much later in life. And now she's opened both doors and doing both. That's right. But she always listened to me. Her mom always listened to me, to me, my advice, and always respected my advice and just followed it. A lot of models this uh, time around, they uh, they think they know it all and they think they they could do their thing or their they don't want this, they want that, and really. They should get over themselves and just follow listen. the instructions, follow, listen, and you will reach the stars. Yes. Yeah. So, that is the advice. Kutoka kwa mama lonianzisha kariya yangu. And Angie is one of the most respected, the most loved agent in the industry. So, Kamal Vosema, go on her website, amtimanagement.com, and there's a place where it says submissions, you can submit yourself. And come on, on a fab for Nekazia modeling. Come on, you response. Kutoka kwake, it means that you are on a fly. Now, sometimes when I look at send, I can submit my bill, my moja, my tattoo. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Sorry, it's because you know your Swahili. Yeah. You're from Kenya. Tanzania. I'm from Kenya. Wow. <laughs> Sorry. I was like. <laughs> No, yes, right. Sorry, I've met so. my fellow sister. What is your name? Mwendwa. Mwendwa? For those who are from Kenya, it's okay, very common. What does that mean? It means love or someone who's love. So nice. Yeah. <laughs> nice to you. Meet you. Yeah. <laughs> you see, you go places and you meet very people. Funny. And I was just sitting here like, okay, she's speaking Spanish. I was, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. No, no, I, no. <laughs> it's very nice. See, where, how did you, are you modeling or dancing? Me, I'm a dancer and like I did the show in September okay. and now I'm back. Now actually. you're back. It's so nice. Yeah. Do you, did you, were you born here or did your family come no, from I was Kenya? Born in Kenya. My mother is Kenyan and my father French. Wow. Which part of Kenya? I Give him a born, shout out. I was born in Nakuru. Nakuru. <laughs> yes. So everybody from Nakuru, you have uh -huh, your sister yes, out here. I'm out here. But my mother is a Meru. Meru, yeah. yeah. It's so nice. It's good to meet you. It's good to meet you also. You see? You never know where you're going to run into your family or friends or your neighbors from other places in the world. So, so, this is show. 
kama Angie alivyosema kama utakuwa model uwe professional uwe on time when a great attitude and basically not just as a model but in life you need to have all these things so kuna na kwanza show